What's up everybody, it's Paul C for WP Tats and please excuse the way I look at the moment, a little bit like a very red lobster that's been cooked a little bit too harshly. I spent a little bit too long in the sunshine yesterday in the UK because we actually have some sunshine in the UK occasionally and um, let's just say that it didn't fare well for me. So please excuse that. But what I wanted to do today is this isn't a tutorial, this isn't my normal video. I just wanted to get your feedback on something that seems to have the Elemental community in a little bit of an uproar and there seems to be various different sides to this and I'd love to get your feedback on which side you kind of fall on. If you are not aware, I'll just recap. Elemental Unlimited was sold since pretty much Elemental Pro came onto the market and what it basically means is you had unlimited sites, unlimited activations and you could just build as many sites as you wanted and test sites and do all those kinds of good things. But there's a very small percentage of people that were purchasing the unlimited license and then they were selling individual licenses on for a small amount of money. But because it's unlimited, they could ultimately make tens of thousands of dollars for doing this kind of thing. So because of that, Elementor, the developers over at Elementor, have decided to change the unlimited plan to the expert plan now. And that expert plan will still cost you the same amount of money as what was the unlimited plan, but now you have a limitation of a thousand sites per activation or per license. So for me personally, it doesn't affect my business model because if I sold a thousand websites with a thousand licenses for Elemental or my un, you know, other sort of like the new plan they brought out, I could quite happily then carry on and purchase another license and another license and add infinitum. But this isn't the point. The point is not about can I afford to do it and can other businesses afford to do it? That's the, the sort of cost of doing business. You have expenses. I think the real problem comes down to the way that the Elementor development team actually handled the way that they did this. There was no interaction, feedback or sort of Q&As with any of the community, the people that have actually been supporting Elementor Pro since before there was a Pro, when they were using the free option. So these people are kind of feeling a little bit narked at the fact that there's this been arbitrary change to their unlimited plan to something that now is limited without any feedback. Now, you could kind of look at this in two ways. Like I say, you don't care because your business is supporting you and making money and that's just a cost of doing business. Or you might be on the other side thinking, well, that's all well and good, but a company that can just change their policy, change their, what they offer you overnight, well, they could do it again. They could say, well, today we're going to give you a thousand, but then in, excuse my screen, in a couple of days time, we might go, well, we're going to limit that to a hundred. And then in six months time, 50. How would that affect you? Yes, you could still make money, but could you still trust a company that could quite easily just change the way that they want to offer their product without grandfathering in people that supported them from the get go or currently have licenses? If new customers come along and purchase it, let them have the expert plan with a limitation of a thousand activations. But for people that have been supporting Elemental since the, the sort of the start, there should have been some kind of support for them as well, I feel. Like I say, it financially doesn't affect me. I will still continue to use Elemental as and when I need to in my projects and my clients, the fee that they'll pay will include a license fee. It will include the money that I pay towards that license. But what do you think? How do you feel this affects you? Do you have no problem with the cut down activations? You'll take it from being unlimited to a limited plan. Do you feel like it doesn't matter to you if they want to change the terms and conditions of sale or their product or whatever you want to call it and move forward with that? Do you feel like you can't trust a company that can do that? Or do you feel like it doesn't bother me? I don't care. If I do a thousand activations, I'm making money. Like I say, for me, I think it's one of those things where you have the, um, how can I say, you take something that's a problem for a minority of the people that actually pay you, but then what you do is you affect that 99.99% with your decision to stop those 0.1 or point half of a 0.1. Then that's something I think is, is not the right way to move forward. But like I say, this is just me giving you the information, giving you my initial feelings on it. But I want you to tell me what you think. Do you care? Do you don't care? Are you on the fence? What are your thoughts? Let me have those in the comment section below. And let's see what we all kind of feel about the way that Elemental has handled this issue. Well, as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.